Good morning. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. One this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. Getting fancy today and adding an egg to my order. Whew, that hit the spot. You get a lot of bang for your buck here. Man, can't remember the last time I had such a fresh egg. Maybe I should get some for them too. Oh, my siblings. I've got four younger ones. Our apartment's pretty small, though, so we're packed like sardines. <laughs> you could say that. You wouldn't believe how hot it gets in the summer. I never mentioned this, but... My father died five years ago. We were told his car fell off a cliff. I'm not fishing for sympathy or anything. I, I just thought you should know. It's already this late. The preschool's gonna be letting out soon. See ya. has such crazy plot twists. When the main girl's best friend betrayed her, I was like, what? Being backstabbed by the one person you trusted most is just horrible. What would you do if that happened to you? That's awfully admirable. You sound just like the main character. To be honest, there was once a girl I was close to who suddenly started avoiding me. It wasn't a full-blown betrayal or anything, but I was so hurt by that. It's hard to forgive and forget. Oh shoot, it's starting! It's so fast-paced, we really need to pay attention. Oh no way! It's just gonna end like that? 
Ugh, it happens every time. But they're so good at leaving you hanging. I need to know how it ends. Let's watch more next time, okay? It's getting pretty late. We better head back to our rooms. Yeesh, this is a scorcher. Oh man, it's already the 20th? Summer break's almost over. Not that I got anything to do. You'd think with special powers, the rest of the world wouldn't be so... boring. Hmm? <sighs> What's she doing? Drawing? She's some kind of caricature artist? Nah, no way. There's no one around for her to draw. What the heck is she drawing then? There's nothing interesting here. Out of the way. You're blocking my view. Move. Huh? Oh, sorry. Oh, what's with those funky colors? What do you want? No, uh, nothing. My bad. Dude, how can she stand to wear that crazy outfit in this heat? And what was up with that weird drawing? I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder? Eh. Oh well. Someone else to welcome into our vlog. No, speak of the devil. <sighs> oh wow! Are you interested in joining too? Finally, paradise is smiling back at me. Yes, yes. Well, what are you saying? That I should just abandon these people to their fate? I'm trying to save these people. They've suffered in this world just like me. Someone as good looking as you could never understand. You have no idea what people like me have to go through. Fine. If you're gonna try and stop me, then. then you and I are through! Don't fall! 
follow me around anymore. Only true believers are allowed into paradise. Huh? W what is this? Is this an emergency? A serious emergency? So the world's coming to an end, huh? I think I remember some other cult saying stuff like that. Except they really weren't about initiation fees. It was more about giving up material wealth, wasn't it? Stealing ideas from real, actual religions. That's a textbook cult tactic, you know? You mean... This was all a trick? Oh, yeah. You've been duped, kid. But not by us. You should blame that cult you believe in so much. Now that I know the truth, I almost feel sorry for you. But you had to take things too far. Try not to hit his face. If you leave any marks, you might be able to press charges. Am I gonna die? <laughs> but, but if I die here, I'll be reborn and I can go to paradise. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. What? What are you doing here? After I said such awful things to you, that, that we were through. I'm freaking out! I don't want them to hurt me! See you near my son again. <laughs> You're so wonderful. You have such a kind soul. Negotiating with Koromaru-san. Koromaru-san is prohibited from going out for a walk on his own. There were arrangements for Sonata-san to accompany Koromaru-san on his walk today. However, the scheduled time has passed, and Sonata-san has yet to return. Koromaru-san's patience has reached its limit. Koromaru-san is requesting that you accompany him instead. Are you available to assist at the moment? You are what they call a lifesaver. A non-human persona user. Now that is certainly unique. However, my fascination lies more with you. Good evening. There's no need for hostility. Now is hardly the time. Let's have a little chat. Come along. <laughs> what? 
What exactly are you waiting for? Now then, I have a question for you. However, just demanding answers from you wouldn't be a very fair arrangement, now would it? I will answer one question of your own first. So, what do you want to know? We don't serve any particular grand purpose. Had you simply stayed your hands, we could have avoided a needless confrontation. In the beginning, we had no quarrel with you. Had you not decided to eliminate the Dark Hour, we wouldn't have had a reason to interfere. It is truly unfathomable. The power of a persona is a blessing granted only to us. Yet, you insist on ending the Dark Hour, knowing full well that your powers will be lost. Now, answer me this. Why? Are you trying to protect the world from the shadows? Is that truly how you feel? In this country, almost 5,000 people die in car accidents every year. And yet, there is no outcry against the existence of cars. Why do you suppose that is? It is because we value our own convenience over the lives of others. So then, why should we give up the powers we were bestowed? Do you know what a savior complex is? You are being trapped by a misguided way of thinking. We have no obligation to sacrifice what is ours to save others. Giving up your own life to save others is simply a waste. Your reason for fighting is one of obsession. Do you continue to deny it because you can't accept the truth? There is no need to rush your decision. You should think carefully about it. We have been given a special power. And yours, yours is particularly extraordinary. It's as if the Dark Hour has chosen you. Does it really make sense for you to reject this gift? That was all I had to say. Tonight is a new moon. You have ample time to reconsider before the moon waxes full again. That, my debt to you is paid. Perhaps it might help you make up your mind. Well then, I shall be going. I trust you'll have changed your tune by the next time we meet.
Oh, oh.